This is your daily 10. Calculator, video 4. Make sure you pause the video and attempt the questions before you actually watch the solutions. Here's your first question. Here what we need to do is work out which one of these could be a unit of density. Well it's quite useful at that point to probably write down the little formula for density. Now if you remember the density is mass divided by volume. So what we want is to start off with a unit of mass, so maybe kilograms, grams, something like that, and then a unit of volume. Now if you think, all the ones down here, they're all using the same sort of numbers, so mass is going to have to be kilograms, and volume, remember, would be metres cubed, because volume is to do with 3D shapes. So we need kilograms over metres cubed, which would be this one here. Here's your next question. Now quadratic sequences normally come a lot later in the exam, however all it's wanting us to do here is to work out the next term of the quadratic sequence. So whenever you're finding next term, best thing you can do to start off with is actually work out how to get from one number to the next. Well to get from 5 to 8, we've added on 3. From 8 to 14, well that's add 6. And from 14 to 23, that's add 9. Now if you notice, the thing that we're adding on each time is going up by 3. So 3, 6, 9. I thought to get to the next one, we would have to add on 12. 23 add 12 would give us 35. So 35 would be the next term in the quadratic sequence. Here's your next question. Remember, this is a calculator paper. So here, with this being a calculator paper, it means we can actually just type in each of these if we need to. So obviously the first one, we know what that number is already. It's given us in normal form. 9.56 times 10 to the power 3. Well, that's simply, if we type it into the calculator, 9.56 times 10 to the power of 3 gives us 9,560. The one at the end, again we would just type in 9.56, this time not in standard form, it's times 3 to the power of 10. So if we use the little button on our calculator, that means we can do powers. So 3 to the power of 10 gives us this large number of 564,508.44. So because it wants the numbers written in descending order, that means biggest down to the smallest, we would get this one is the largest, so 9.56 times 3 to the power 10. 9563 is the next going down from biggest to smallest. And this is the smallest one, so we use the number that we were given, 9.56 times 10 to the power of 3. Here's the final question for this video. So here all we need to do is try and find what value of A and what value of B would mean that this, on the left hand side, is always equal to this on the right hand side. That's the meaning of an identity, that these two are exactly the same no matter what value of x is used. Hence why we've got the three equal sign to mean identity. So all I would do at this point, because I can see a bracket, is I'd start to expand it. So it'd give me 3ax plus 6. Expanding this bracket be careful, remember this here is minus 4, so minus 4 times x is minus 4x. And I'm doing minus 4 times b, so minus 4b. Now we need that that is always going to be equal to 11x plus 4x. 
plus 14. So because we've got two parts, two terms here on the right hand side, something with an x on and some numbers on their own, I'm going to do the same with the stuff on the left hand side here. So if I collect together all the stuff that has got anything to do with x, so the 3ax, and then this minus 4x, I want that to be exactly the same as 11x. So I need to try and find the value of a here that would make this equal 11x. Well, the x can sometimes maybe get a little bit confusing, so actually what I'm trying to say here is that I need 3a minus 4 to equal 11. So I've just got a little equation to solve. If I add 4 to both sides, I get 3a equals 15. Then 4, I would need to divide by 3 to give me a equals 5. So I've found the value of a, and I can put that down at the bottom. I'm going to do the same now with b. Now if you look, b is just a number related to numbers on the own, so the number on its own there is 14. So I want the 6 here, and the minus 4b, the bits that have got nothing to do with x, I want that to equal 14, so the bit that has nothing to do with x on that side. In order to solve this one, the first thing I'm going to do is take 6 away from both sides. Just be careful, that leaves me minus 4b. Take away 6 from this side, gives me 8. Now because I've got minus 4b, I'm going to have to divide by minus 4. So that will give me b equals 8 divided by minus 4. 8 divided by 4 is 2. So divide by minus 4 will give me minus 2. And there is my value of b.